everyone, Michael here. Welcome back. Another episode of Michael Mac the Beast. Yeah, the Beast. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you guys. I'm getting comments. How come you're not doing any more vanilla? I'm like, well, I've got so much stuff I can do and feed the beast. I just, I just don't want to go back to vanilla. I'm sorry. We'll wait until the next patch comes out. I'll probably go back for a bit and play with all the new stuff. Although I know the Minecraft server is updated the latest snapshot for the new stuff, but you know, it's it gets overcovered at this time. So, um, what I want to do, my plan for today. I've got, well, I got a couple play on a couple projects in mind. Um, by the way, I misspoke as far as my melon thing here, but look at that, I already got forty stacks of melons. But uh, it actually takes took more than three. It took thirty stacks of melons to fill up my MFE, but it is full, and I've got fifty eight methane cells in here. We're ready to go in the thing. So my centrifuge's got a stack, and there's a stack waiting. So it's it's good to go. I just need to plug something into it now. But, enough of that. We are going to come up here. And I'll show you what I've been working towards. Um, I've been moving towards liquid ducks. Look at that, liquid ducks, yay! Liquid ducks are pretty cool. Um, they run pretty well. And one thing I want to do is I want to go completely wireless, centralized, whatever with all of my liquids so i got water i got biomass and i've got lava i also want to do it with my energy conduits i won't probably won't do it with items i'll probably stick to do an ender chest for items um just because i've got that system set up and it's working well for me so we'll just stick with it um but i do want to go wireless Although here it probably won't matter that much because this is fine, but I will set up. And we will make what is called Tesseracts. Now Tesseracts, um, you got three different tes completed Tesseracts which require you know frames and then an unattuned Tesseract. And then you got an energy Tesseract, a liquid, and an item. And basically they are like wireless redstone, like these wireless redstone things for, so these, um, for either liquid energy or items um it's really cool so and they work with the liquid ducts and the pneumatic tubes so these things um which i don't know why when you hover over them it calls them dirt covers but whatever um <laughs> so what are we gonna do oh so the first thing i want to do is i made a bunch of iron plates and we are going to make let's go down here um, I want to make some tanks right here. I want some tanks. So we're going to get rid of some of this. And so I need to make, let's see here, make a iron tank walls. So we'll have a stack of those. We'll see how far that takes us. If I need to make more iron plates, I have plenty of iron. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make five by five by five tanks and I'm going to make three of them. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's going to be the base of the tank. And then we're going to have a, uh, a gap and then another one. And I'm gonna, they're gonna hold the three liquids that I said uh, already. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm definitely gonna need more of these, I think. And, uh, so there we go. So yeah, these iron tank walls, I'll show you how, how we get there when I run out. Um, but they're made by putting iron in um, in a rolling machine. Oops, I am gonna need more. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I need to do two more. Now, 
other things you can do, we're going to need a couple of valves and then you can do windows. So I'll show you here. We got our intake walls. So now valves, uh, let's, let's search tank. Um, basically how this works is iron tank wa walls, gauges, and valves build to work together. Once you build a completed box, well, it'll also just become a tank and it stores liquids. Um, which is nice. It'll be like these regular tanks, except it'll be just huge and you can store a lot in them. So we need to make a few valves. I need a total. We're going to need to make two of these. I'll need eight, I think. Well, I, I only need six, but... So what we're going to do is we're going to have a valve here, and a valve there. Here, and here, and here, and here. Okay. So we'll have an input and an output on these. And then we need to make gauges. Which takes four iron plates, a bunch of glass panes like that, and I'm going to need more glass panes, because I think I'm going to need more more gauges than that, and we'll start with that. And basically the gauge then comes up like this, and we'll use tank walls for the edges here, so we want to go up five, one, two, three, four, five, Come over. Like that. That's how big our tanks are going to be. So I'll put that gauge in there. And then that allows us to see how much fluid is actually in there. Um, so this will have... Actually, yeah. Well, these are a little more expensive. So I'm thinking on the sides here we'll just have... Just have a one and like that. Like that. And then in the back, we'll just have one as well. And a torch there. So then I just finished building up my tank here. And you, you just leave the, the center empty, like I'm doing right here. Keep on going. Uh, I hope I have enough. And I'm going to just break out one so that we can see what it's like when I complete it. So. here. Dang it, not quite enough. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need more. <laughs> Dang. Okay, so tank is just about complete. We'll add the last piece and boom, it has now become a tank. You can tell because the, the gauge has become one glass thing on all sides and then I can right click on it and now it tells me it'll hold two Th or two million micro buckets, or um, two thousand or twenty thousand buckets. So that's one of the tanks completed. I just need to complete two more, and uh, but I need to get some more iron going here. So I'll show you how that's done, and then I'm gonna keep working on these tanks, and then we'll be back and start working on filling the tanks and making the tesseracts. So uh, we'll be right back. Or no, we won't be back. I told you I was gonna show you how to make these. Man, I don't even know what I'm doing. So I've got a bunch of iron here. We're going to throw it in the rolling machine. And in the rolling machine, like this, um, you do like that, and it gives you three iron plates. So it's basically uh, 1.33 iron ingots per plate. That's how it works out to be. Um, so this will give me... A uh, stack and two thirds ish. 
And so I need to power that, by the way. I always disconnect the rolling machine from the power because it constantly drains power. Like it won't hold power. So I'll disable it, otherwise the engines will just go all the time keeping it full. So just connect it up like that. Come up here. And now oh, wrong one. Now my rolling machine is something they're busy making iron plates that again are needed for building the tank parts. So we will I will continue working on the tanks as those are going and uh, we'll be right back. And now we have tanks. All right, look at that beautiful, beautiful tanks. Let's put some lights on. Them. Oh, put some lights on them. So anything spawning on top. Last thing I need is a creeper to blow up a full tank of lava or something. Beautiful. Ah. Shift right click mic. Alright, so. We got our tanks now. And now. Do, 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 we need to fill them. We need to make tesseracts now. And uh, then we need to pump all of our fuels into them. So to make a tesseract, let's look. A tesseract, an unattuned tesseract, we want to make liquid ones. Liquid ones you need an unattuned in copper, silver, tin, and a pneumatic servo. Um, we're going to end up needing three six to start so we'll make six to start with um so you need a tesseract frame which needs tin diamonds and hardened glass so we're gonna make six to start so we need uh, six diamonds to start with i already have hardened glass a bunch of it i made a ton of it one day i actually have another stack of it there we go and what else do we needed we need a tin Okay, oops. So let's grab a stack of the tin out of there. And let's make six of these. All right. Now, to fill the Tesseract, in order to make it unattuned, you need to fill it with Molten Ender. Which, to get Molten Ender, oops, uh, you put ender pearls into a magma crucible or yep ender pearls in here and it turns I'll show it it's right here ender pearl each ender pearl gives you 250 millibars so it takes four ender pearls for a thousand millibars or a thousand millibuckets I guess to, so to make one bucket it's because it's a thousand millibuckets for one bucket I have already cooked a bunch so here I've got eight buckets full which you need a bucket per, so I've actually got eight tesseracts full. So I just throw my six in here and let it go. It'll sit here and it'll fill the tesseract frames. And I should end up with six unattuned tesseracts. And while that is working, let's get together. So we need silver, copper, and tin, and pneumatic servos, which are iron, redstone, and glass. Okay. So we need silver, and we need copper, and I already have tin, right? Tin, and iron, and redstone, and glass. Okay, I have iron, and I have glass, so I just need redstone. Okay, so we will make six of these servos two three four five six all this construction always fills your inventory all right so six servos and that's it so now we need we need the unattuned oops there we go Four of them are completed. Let's make four of them for now. So liquid. 
Do that. Four of them. Awesome. Four liquid tesseracts. And let's see, just about done to two more. But let's just start with one for now. So the first tank we're going to fill is we're going to do the biofuel tank. We're going to get that filling. So we'll have a tesseract here. This will be our biofuel tesseract. We'll right click on it. And then basically you need to set a channel for it. Uh, it's just like the red, wireless redstone. So we're going to decide on a channel number. Um, let's do 340. 340. Set that frequency. And we're going to name it Michael Bio. Uh, Biogas. So we'll add that. And then that'll be named so that we can go and know which one it is. So that's 340. We need some more liquid ducts here. And we can put this other tank stuff away because we don't need it. But we do need... Where are my liquid ducts? There they are. I need more liquid ducts. I'll show you how to make those here quick, too. Oh, sweet. Those are done. That'll help clear up some... Uh, some inventory space. Um, Alright, so... Liquid ducts a really nice uh, way to transfer liquid without using BC and they just take copper and hardened glass so I need my hardened glass and we need some copper I'm not gonna make too many of them sure that's enough <laughs> I'm gonna use these everywhere so so as you can see we got that feeding in there it's not actually going anywhere right now because I don't have an output for it um, by the way one thing you can do let's do it here is we can set a configuration and we can actually set it where it only sends or only receives so I'm gonna make this send only this one because we we only want that to send and then we're gonna get a pipe here and we're going to put input on the left and it'll be this one and let's put it and yeah, let's put it right here why not right there and right there okay and then this one is going to be michael biogas set it and this is going to be receive only. So now, here we got biofuel coming in. And it's going to slowly fill this tank. So if we right click on it, there you go. Biomass is filling in. And this will fill in as it comes in. So I'm going to have another coming off here and feeding into here that'll go out. Um, and we'll work. I'm not sure if I want to do a separate frequency for that or not. We'll figure it out. But for now, we're just filling tanks. So we'll get there. Um, we're gonna right here and right here, right here and right here. Okay. So this one will be our lava. And let's see what was the frequency 340. We're going to skip two, and we're going to go with 342 for lava. Michael, lava. Set it. Save it. So there's my lava. This is going to be receive only. And I may change it. Um, depending, because I think I'm going to put my lava production right beside it. But for now, we're filling the tank. So, we need We'll put it right here. We'll pull from there for now. Lava, set it. This is going to be send only. So that's going to suck all the lava out. Look at it go. Which means this thing needs to be going again. 
is he making lava? And actually, I am going to change feeding into that. Okay. Which means that my machine's going to stop working for a little while, but that's okay. We're going to drain those off. Actually, I want those to keep going. Oh, crap. Well, they're going to go until I run out of lava. <laughs> Vips. Now, to save on this, actually, yeah, they're going to run. We're going to, we're going to, going to change something here. Oh, you need a uh, wrench. And I'm going to put it right here. That's going to be lava set. Okay. And this is going to be send only. And then right here. I'm gonna put another one. Need my wrench right here, and this is gonna be set to receive only, and this will be lava. Okay, we'll see how that works. Grab all these. And I'll, like I said, I'll move my lava production uh, somewhere. My machine here making lava. We'll make it elsewhere. But we're just filling the tank for now. Oh, this one, yeah, this one's receive only. So this one should be getting nothing for now. Actually, let's see here. Yeah, my lava tank over here is getting filled up. So let's do this. We'll name it lava. Um, I don't know what to name these. In, we'll name it in. And then we'll make another one, 343. Which will be lava out. Okay, okay. So I'll be lava out. And I think I have to do that, and I think I have to put a redstone signal on it. To pump out. Like that. There we go. So now it's pumping lava back out and into the system up there. Same thing here. We're going to do it with bio gas, and I'm short a tesseract. I thought I made. I've used them all, haven't I? Well, darn it. Yeah, because I got one there. That's right. I got one there. I need to make some more test racks, and I got my biofuel one working. Okay. It's busy filling. These guys are busy. And I need to fill this in. So my question is, how come these pipes don't show any having any biofuel or any lava? Is it because they're not calling for any lava? Or do I actually have to have these like this and like that and I actually have to have them powered? Is that what it takes? Hmm. 
That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh no, this needs to be out. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Set that. Shut off. Still not getting any lava, though. What am I doing wrong here? Aha! This side's just not showing any, though. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe I need to move this. Let's do this. Geronimo! Okay. Pick everything up. Come back up here. And... Make a hole for myself. And then we're going to change this a bit. Now the interesting thing about these liquid ducts is they will not attach unless you do that uh, to other pipes that have liquid in them. So you can actually like run different liquids side by side and not have to worry about it. So let's put this here. Now this is lava out. And this is receive only. Set it. And now, there we go. Now it's full. Alright, so we got lava taken care of. Next would be biofuel. But I need more tesseracts. So we need a few more diamonds. Looks like I'm going to have to cook some more ender pearls. So one thing I worry about this is it's gonna gonna get expensive as far as resources go, but it's gonna be nice in the long run. And I'll start doing energy test racks as well, which also take unattuned, but then they take lead, silver, and electrum, and a red, redstone conductive to coil. But then that allows me to run the power from my engines elsewhere. So I'm not sure. If I'll use it yet or not, um, depending on if I'm going to need power elsewhere. So that's something I'm not going to worry about right now. But right now, I want to do my liquids. Um, so we need hardened glass and tin. Like I said, I've got my hardened glass. And let's grab tin. I think I'm going to have to get my uh, turtle out mining again. So, should I do eight of these? Yeah, let's do eight more. Get those filling. Okay, um, so that should give me eight more, and then we can... Um, then I can get some more of this stuff set up correctly. But right now, my biofuel is still good as far as the old system goes. I haven't switched over to the new system yet. But I'm not sure where I, I'm probably just going to have to put it right here on top of this liquid tesseract to fuel into that. I didn't even think this through unless I do it over here or something. Or right here. Who knows? Figure something out. This doesn't need to be here anymore. But there we go. So now I've got lava feeding in, which is being generated right now. And uh, I almost need to have like two of these going or something to get some more cobblestone in there. And uh, so that's going to take a while to fill the tank, which is there. So now we need water. Now water, I'm going to cheat a little bit for, um, because I don't want to waste a wireless tesseract just to do water. So I'm going to take these accumulators, and we're going to grab them. And uh, I'm not going to worry about this right now. But we're going to grab those and, let's see, liquid ducts. And I need a couple buckets of water.
Yeah, four should be good, I think. And my liquid ducks. Okay. So for water. I'm going to do something unique where I'm going to run. Let's see here. How do I want to do this? Actually, I should do it right on top. Right here and right here. Like that. And then bring it down. this really you guys don't want to connect there you go and oh, I've only brought hardened glass I don't want to waste hardened glass on this I want to use regular glass All right, I'll go back up. I always forget I got this entrance way too. I got little peepholes everywhere. I did make a bunch more glass, so this will be okay. Okay, grab this glass. We'll head on down. And this will be the easiest thing to fill. And actually, where is it getting? It's already getting water? Oh, it, it pulls water out of the air. That's right. Yeah, it gets the water out of the air slowly. So this thing's got a little bit of water in it. But then this will fill insanely fast when we... No, where in the world did that come from? Okay. When I get this going... that and then we will do water around it water here no water here water there there so now I should be feeding water in like crazy Just constant. So this tank should start filling up. And there it's going. Look at that. 30, 34 buckets, 35 buckets, 36 buckets. Oh yeah. And it holds. Actually, it holds 2,000 buckets of each fluid. I did my math wrong again. I'm bad at math. So I already have 183 buckets of biomass and 69 buckets of lava. Feeding in. And actually we're going to run, because these are the outputs. So the outputs need levers. And I don't like the lever up there. We're going to put it down here. Or it needs a redstone signal of some sort. Put that there. Because I don't think these should be redstone powered. No, yeah, ignore that. Ignore the redstone signal. All right. Awesome. Yeah, I could have put the valves on top and stuff for the water, and but I kind of like it being uniform like this. I like how this looks. This is like, it looks awesome now. And I got my different fuels filling. These will take a little while. But uh, they should get full. And uh, yeah, lava production will take a while. I'm getting up there in biomass. Alright, look at it go. I probably didn't need this big of a biomass tank when <laughs> I think about it. But whatever. I wanted them to be uniform. 
So there you go. Tankage and Tesseracts. And uh, this will do well for my next project. But uh, actually, I don't even know if I'll use these for my next project. We'll see. But that didn't provide me a way that, let's say, I need biofuel over there for some odd reason. I won't have to run a big, long pipe over to it. And uh, all sorts of other good stuff. So, Or if I need lava somewhere, who knows. Or water. These, these water pipes now can be pretty much taken, gotten rid of. I can use this wool and f fill this water in. There. And uh, eventually we'll get rid of this long pipe too of biomass and just have a little thing here. Or biofuel, biogas, whatever. As soon as that tank empties out. Until that, and that gives us a chance to fill up our other tanks, so. And, uh, yeah, I think that should do it. This tank is empty, so I can get rid of this. And this is slowly building lava. I gotta make sure I keep cobblestone in there. I might almost put another hopper on top or something. Or get another one going. A second one going. So that I have plenty of la or lava coming in. Well, there you go. Now oh, I need to name the biogas one a biogas in. And I need to make biogas out, which those have been, those should probably be full by now. Up there in the thing. But this one is going to be biogas in. Name it. Okay. And 341 will be biogas out. 342 is lava in. Yep, 343 is lava out. So I would leave 344 for water in, which we're not going to need, and 345 for water out. All right. Awesome. Awesome indeed. So that's going to do it for now. I'm going to finish this up. i got to make my unattuned tesseracts here. And make them into liquid. And uh, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.